everyone, I'm Denise Love, and today I thought we would do something really fun. So let's get started. I feel like experimenting today with my whole buying gouache, and I had somebody under the um, the video where I did that art haul where I got this set say, ooh, those colors would be beautiful with the Daniel Smith Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. So I actually got that out too, and I thought, ooh, let's do a little abstract set with some gouache and some Sleeping Beauty and just see what we end up with. I'm going to be working on the Hannah Mule uh, 140 pound cold press paper. This is a 9 by 12 sheet. I'm just going to cut it in half and maybe do two little abstracts because that's what I want to do today. And somebody asked me to show how I cut and stick down the paper, how I tape it down, because um, they're like, do you got some secret? <laughs> and I don't have a secret, but I'm just going to show you what I do, and then you'll see I'm just eyeballing it just like you are. Um, so I've just cut it in half, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and take some tape and tape it down because I want to work on both pieces at the same time. I'm taping this down to a hardboard artist panel um, and I like these because now I can move this off my table or I can move it around as I'm working um, and it's not stuck to my table in one location when I'm thinking, oh, I wish I could move that. Um, and these, uh, the one I'm using now is ampersand, and they come in lots of different sizes. I'll put a link under the video so you can check them out. Um, I used to use cardboard, and that's fine too. You don't have to use hardboard panels. You can stick it down to your table. You can stick it down to a nice thick piece of cardboard that came on a box that you were delivered. Um, it doesn't matter. I just like these boards because I did at the Blick store. They had some art classes that they were doing in the store and the projects they were doing them on these hardboard panels and this was just like maybe two or three years ago and I'm like oh my god what is that and I asked the employee I'm like do you sell these boards I need this board and the employee's like no we don't sell those and I'm like really and then I'm like in the store at some other time and I find the boards and I'm like that employee lied to me or they just didn't know what was in their uh, store so that's crazy I love the board okay so I'm just sticking this watercolor down I'm using a palette that I've got other colors in it and I don't remember if these are watercolors or gouache um, and I don't really don't really care I'm working in a similar color palette and if it mixes in with the other colors I don't I don't care I feel like these could be these colors though but if it's not that's okay and gouache, you know, gouache is kind of a mix between uh, watercolor and acrylic paint. And somebody gave me some tips under a video, so I appreciated that. And I'll put the silver down. See, I feel like this could be maybe the one I used, but I don't remember. Let's put silver over here. And then, so they said don't use as much water as with watercolor. And I'm like, okay, good to know. All right, let's start with this. I've got my number zero Raphael soft aqua brush and I am just going to experiment and put down color and just see what I get I'm not trying for anything specific I'm not worried about where I'm sticking stuff when I'm painting this way kind of in play mode still you know most of the time when I'm at my table especially when I'm making videos with you guys you guys are so fun you're so interactive and comment back to me and tell me that you painted with me and I'm like "Ooh, I love that you painted with me um, yeah so most of the time especially doing the YouTube videos I'm in experimental play mode because it's just easier on a video format for YouTube to not be trying to do like an entire class like I do for say Skillshare and so I love this playtime and it's so easy just to come turn the camera on and put down some paper and start to experiment so I didn't tell you these colors I put down did I um, pale coral and the whole bind gouache um, light ochre and antique silver and I might keep adding to it but that's what I've put in my palette there that I didn't mention um, but yeah you guys you you like paint with me and then you come back and say I painted with you today and I'm like oh my gosh you just totally made my day I feel like we're having like a little art date when we do this <laughs> 
And so gouache also, uh, one of the characteristics of it versus watercolor is it genuinely has, uh, generally has more pigment and is opaque. And the more water you add to it, you kind of lose those properties that make the gouache um, unique in that way. So what's really cool about doing, say, gouache and watercolor is now we're going to get those different opacities and maybe even uh, you can see the matteness of the gouache versus the uh, whatever the watercolor is doing. So it really kind of adds to our layers and makes things really interesting um, and from a textural visual standpoint I think. So that's why I kind of like these. Um, now the colors have just gotten crazy. In the original one that I did in our art haul, I was using the pink and the ochre. Um, so throw in this blue and it is very interesting. It's kind of throwing me a little bit. Like I know orange and blue is good. I'm not saying it's not, but I just kind of went, hmm, definitely outside my comfort zone. You know, I love experimenting with color palettes with you guys too, which is why I do those color palette challenges, because now we get into um, things that we wouldn't normally do, which I love doing that. I like experimenting and getting outside my comfort zone, and I've got a whole bunch of paint stuck on my brush that won't come off. <laughs> um, that's why I do those. I like experimenting and playing in color ways that I wouldn't normally play in. Okay, so... Let's get this silver. What can we do with this silver? Because I discover a lot of things and maybe as we go my color palette choices change and I'm introduced to new things and I'm like, oh, who even knew I loved this? And I never would have tried it on my own if I hadn't been doing, say, some of these challenges with you guys. It's like the best time I have at my paint table when I'm painting and playing and not worried about the outcome. I'm here to have some fun. Doesn't matter if it's a big hot mess when I'm done because you know I like to cut up art. <laughs> and so I might use any excuse to be like, okay, let's cut this up. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, we end up with pretty little heart prompts that I stick in my beautiful little dessert tray. And no matter what you paint, those always look good. Uh, so... No day is disappointing like it was when I was a, a bit younger and I sat down every day and I thought I have to make a masterpiece today and when I didn't I left my art table mad like I was angry and then I was angry for days and this is even in say the last decade while I've had this little creative business and then I'd get to the mental point where I'm like why do I even have a creative business I'm not creative I can't get nothing to work out and I would just be mad and I don't even know at what point I finally decided play is fun. Let's sit down and play at the table. Let's just not worry about the outcome. I'm not trying to get a masterpiece. I want to enjoy the time that I have here. I'm not sure at what point that subtly changed for me and then I'm like, okay, I'm feeling better about the art practice that I sit and do. All right, so I'm feeling like maybe we need to let this dry and then do some mark making on top and just see what we get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do on top. So let me think for a moment while it's drying and I'll be right back. This has dried. So I'm kind of thinking, I like Posca pen. I like my, I like black pen. I like um, pastels. So I may, um, and I like, um, I'm going to try these Caran d'Ache Neocolor pastels. These are their oil pastels that we have. I also have, oh, now that I thought of that, I also have the Neocolor 2 watercolor pastels. Uh, watercolor, water soluble, the Neocolor 2 back here. I could always pull those out and do some mark making. I keep that tin on my desk. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, what if we come through and just start making some interesting marks. So I'm going to start with my Posca pen. I don't know if you caught that, but I said Posca instead of Posca. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to be like the old dog that learns new tricks. And I said Holbein instead of Holbein. <laughs> See, I try to take your guys, like when you say you got that wrong, I try to take your suggestion and see if I can 
say it in my mind 32 times and be like, okay, I think I got it. <laughs> and if you don't, well, you can just chalk it up to that's the Southern way we say it. Because <laughs> I'm a little Southern peach. And maybe that's my Southern twang coming out. <laughs> So at this point, I've added those pastels. I've come back, I've added the white Posca dots. I've added some black dots with my pen. And you can kind of see some of those details as we're working. And I'm just thinking in my mind, what else do I want to add? Is there something else that this needs? If you get to this point and you don't know, set it to the side and think about it. Or you could, make a copy of this and print it out on another piece of paper and you could test out ideas and just decide, ooh, what else does it need? And you can draw on it a hundred times before you draw on your original. Um, you could say that this is done. Like I do like everything I've got going on here and we could say, okay, we're done, but I feel like it needs a few more marks or something. And so does it need gold? I'm always feeling like we could use a little gold. Does it need silver? The silver to me doesn't show up. Like, you know, I put that silver in there, um, but it doesn't, it's not as like vivid as the gold, the Kuretake gold that I love so much. So I might add some gold or, I don't know, maybe play with this uh, aqua bronze silver because I know this will be nice and vivid, but it's a little different than that gold and I, I don't know. Hmm. Dilemmas, dilemmas. I need you to vote on screen. <laughs> I like there to be like an extra element that has the contrast and really says, oh yeah, that's it. Maybe on this one, I'm going to try some swoops with some dots on there because I like the, um, the multiple lines with little pearls on it. So Let's just do it. Okay, so I like that. That gave me the little bit of whimsy I was kind of hoping for. So I do feel like I want some of that over here. I'm feeling pretty good about that. What do you think? Whoa. And we could still add something else on top if we wanted. Just kind of think about it. Maybe we could do some stencil on top. <laughs> I know you felt that coming. <laughs> I'm going to do, we could do, let me get over here in my stencil box and see what we got. I've got a little drawer beside me that I'm moving stuff out of. What? if we had our halftone circles kind of giving us that last little element. So you can use any gold that you have. And I might try this um, Glimmer ink by Hero Arts that I got in one of my art boxes. I don't know, it's the inky inky. And it's really yellow. But you know, that came in silver. I just don't like it. I just don't, uh, I'm, I love these so much now that we're this far that I just want it to finish off strong <laughs> and be like, look at this, I love it. Okay, I know this Kuretake paste is hard to get you guys, but it's my very favorite. 
and I'm just gonna have to go with it. And I'm gonna have to order me like 10 of these because every time I do this in a video, they sell out everywhere. <laughs> and then I'll always have some. So when y'all got, when you guys go and you buy it all, I've already got me a little stash. <laughs> I've out there thinking, who is buying all this gold ink? <laughs> okay, so you can dab. I do a little scrubbing because I like it. I know all the little techniques and that's the one I like the best. And I'm using a little art sponge that I've cut into little quarters. So I have a dry sponge and fairly dry ink here. And this is that Tim Holtz half tone circle stencil. So let's just see if this finishes it off for us. <laughs> well, let me tell you what it does do. <laughs> it gives me that yummy shine that I wanted. <laughs> that's what it does for me <laughs> all right let's put some of that over here I just want that glimmer that shine I want that shine that nothing else seems to give me and I don't want a lot of it I just wanted a touch okay okay I like that I could do the the ink if I wanted and get some more shine shine in there but I'm kind of feeling like this is a good spot. I can see the silver shimmer. I can see the gold shimmer. I can see the matte part of this Holbein uh, gouache and this yummy pastel. So to finish these, I will usually spray, if I've put the oil pastel, I will spray this Sennelier uh, oil pastel fixative on there. You gotta be real careful when you decide to spray stuff because depending on what you're doing, the spray could turn your piece a different color, which is detrimental sometimes. You're like, oh no, it ruined it. So do a test piece so that you know how this stuff is gonna react with the materials that you use before you do this on your very important piece. Um, so let's peel the tape, see what we got. <laughs> which we can see what we got but I like peeling the tape and making it like official and this is just painters tape I'm using I use painters tape I use artist tape I use frog tape trust me I've tried it all <laughs> this um, Hannibal paper seems to not stick to the tape tape so I really like it <laughs> once I find a paper that I'm like oh didn't tear my paper when I peeled the tape then I tend to like buy more of that paper Oh, look how pretty this is. Totally outside my color palette. Unless you're watching this video years from now and I've used it 12,000 times, but this is the first time <laughs> with the pretty blue that a lovely person in my comments recommended, Sleeping Beauty. Um, but look how pretty that is. That is so pretty and delightful. This is my favorite one, I think. <gasps> this one's my favorite love love okay hope you enjoyed just some fun play today and painting with me i can't wait to see what you're creating so you can tag me on instagram at tula Lau's art you can join my art facebook group i'll link those in the comments below um, hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time <laughs>